Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astrobabi, Queen of Stars, and this week I'm the Queen of the Eclipses. Whoa, what an eclipse we have this week. And this is Angel, and she sent you a lot of protection and a lot of love. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This is a week, and the sun is in Pisces. So happy birthday to you. We love you, my little Pisces. You are the Einsteins of the Zodiac, so smart, so creative, and so unpredictable. But we love you, because you're geniuses. The moon will travel in the signs of Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. And it's a, this week is a big game changer kind of week all right so expect the unpredictable a time of stop and a time of restart or starts it's like wild and crazy and exciting with a powerful new moon solar eclipse in the sign of pisces on sunday bringing us endings and new beginnings this eclipse will also uh, will receive some very strong influence of unpredictable Uranus joining up with Mars and the Sun of Aries, adding even more fuel and craziness to the fire of the political world, of the governments, and all the things to do with leadership and with Pluto, planet of politics, and Mars, Uranus, and the eclipse in this kind of unpredictable waters of Pisces definitely helps everybody to sort of reevaluate everything. The important thing is to be extremely prudent, cautious, to go slowly, to be calm, to be honest, to play by the rules, because if we don't, oh, consequences. Not a good week to be a bully. And it's not a good week also to initiate new projects, new ideas, because it's not going to be well taken. People will resist. The best thing is to really put the brakes on everything and lay low. Let the storm pass by. And it's extremely important to be diplomatic. It's the key to peace and love. And also there's very good other stuff happening beside the eclipse. This Saturday, Mercury planet communication, that's important. In Dreamy Pisces, it sort of makes things a little bit more confused. So it's important to reschedule major decisions, especially in career and business, and also to continue to be diplomatic in the way you approach everything. And also Venus, planet of love, will start going backwards on Saturday, which is sort of like um, happens every one and, a, one and a half years. And it's happening now between the 4th and the 14th. So it's a very good time to reevaluate our love lives, our relationships. Uh, and also to take the time to really get rid of negative relationships from the past. Abusive mates, friends, family members, out! Bye-bye! You don't need that in your life and that's your responsibility to do that. It's not a good time to marry between the 4th and the 14th of April or to get engaged, to have fun, to travel, all that stuff is very good, but not to really commit seriously. Just more fluffy approach to everything, okay? After the 14th of April then, you could really commit in love, then it's good. On Wednesday, good news, the Sun, Neptune, Mars and Saturn, in good terms, will push us to really get the show on the road and get cracking with some kind of project, but then we do it slowly. And on Thursday, we have uh, some kind of a position of Jupiter that's going backwards right now. And Uranus, it's time to be ultra authentic. If you try to pull some shtick of being something else that you're not and you're lying and maneuvering, not going to work, people will catch you in the lie. And it's also a good time to be on the side of history. If you're not, it's going to also uh, not going to be good. You will have and meet a resistance. So be authentic in everything you do in your personal life, at family, at work. And let's also make all the people in charge of governments in the political arena to be accountable. Hey, we could do it. Solidarity is the key. Because remember, the government is supposed to work for you, not the other way around. And now these days, we're rendering, but we will wonder no more. Pisces, let me start with you. Happy birthday to you. I love you. The eclipse in your sign brings enlightenment, high sensitivity, your psychic. Be yourself, follow your intuition, 
follow your dreams and don't allow anybody to stop you in your tracks because they have a lack of faith or vision. Okay, be stubborn. In career, follow your hunches. Your sense of timing is absolutely amazing. And take care of your health also. Check with your doctor, your dentist, your therapist, all these things is very, very helpful this week. In career, it would be wise to check all documents and read all the fine prints before you sign anything. And on the weekend, friends, family provide a lot of affection and tenderness. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers, six and nine. Aries, the eclipse in your spiritual sector bring you wings, hope, action. Yes, more responsibilities, but you like it. Co-workers could be demanding at work, so try to be flexible. Good news, a new fun project could actually bring extra money and express your talents, faith, patience, flexibility are the keys to your wellness and success all week. And by the end of the week, I promise you, you will be able to say mission accomplished. And the weekend, you should take a break and revamp yourself and recharge your batteries. Your magical color is green, lucky numbers, nine and 18. Taurus, Taurus, the eclipse in your social sector bring you like a new way of looking at life. You're extremely intuitive. And also you have a sense of beauty, of balance. You, you are sensitive, but it helps you. You're very charismatic also and very popular in the romantic area and very attractive to many. If you're a bachelor, well, it's not time to really meet somebody and fall in love, but it's more fun. It's more time to have fun. In career projects may uh, slow down a bit, but no worries. You are moving in the right direction. You are in a fabulous year and in love, definitely. Just go with the flow. Just go more for meeting people, having fun, and just letting your hair down, and that's it. On the weekend, definitely go out and mingle with other people because people want to make you happy. Your magical color green, lucky numbers 10 and 21. Gemini's, the eclipse in your career sector brings change and new ways of doing things, a new inspirational, new action is definitely in the air. You're moving a lot of stuff very uh, rapidly. You'll be like a busy bee. Zzz. And career, expect more responsibilities and also new ideas, new possibilities of doing things. More than ever, listen to your higher self. The universe is definitely offering you answers and solutions to all kinds of dilemmas these days. Just be attentive to your higher self. Don't invest now though, financially. And if you, you are promoting something, it's okay. Even if you don't get an answer, don't worry about it. All the seeds you plant will come through. In love, spend more quality time with your loved ones. They need you now. Libra, Cancer, and Aquarius inspire you. On the weekend, take it easy and listen to your dreams. They could be prophetic. Your magical color purple, like in number 633. Cancers, the eclipse in your karmic sector bring you hope and ambition. New doors open up for you, especially in career. Very important to take care of your health. It's a very good week to really take initiative with the doctors and also for healing, for therapy. And you're getting another sense about what's happening with your life. You're discovering new possibilities. Very important to focus on details and to really, really focus on what you are to want to accomplish. You gotta be focused. A great time also to correct past mistakes and make a fresh start. And make amends, say sorry if you have to. Go slow and listen to what coworkers, partners, associates have to say. You could learn something in love. Your mate, your neighbors, your friends definitely show great support. It makes you feel special. On the weekend, pamper yourself, pamper yourself, pamper yourself on your beauty, on your health. Do your exercise and just look great. Your magical color pink, lucky numbers, 6 and 21. Leo Leo, the eclipse in your shared resources sector sort of brings a reflection, a time to think about everything, but also high energy and wisdom. Take good care of your health. At work, you're doing better than anticipated, but continue to go with the flow and listen to what other people say. In your personal and social life, you feel appreciated and planning a romantic getaway could be very good for your morale. Keep a positive attitude and you will conquer the world, my dear king and queens of the zodiac. 
and everything to do with legalities also is working in your favor. It may not look like it now, but at the end you will see uh, it will all turn out in your favor. On the weekend, making others, other people happy, not you, making other people happy, giving, 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 will make you the happiest you could ever be. The gift is in the giving. This is something you're learning this week. The best signs for you, Cancers, Libra and Taurus. Your magical color, blue, and lucky numbers are 5 and 28. ta -da! Virgos, the eclipse in your relationship sector brings visions, high intuition, psychic abilities. You have an open mind and are curious about everything this week, just like a mouse. Take notes because you have good ideas. A social invitation could also bring some excitement into your life. And have you been maybe too soft, too tolerant with loved ones or friends lately? Well, this week, it would be a great time with the eclipse to really set the record straight and clean up things that are not working for you anymore. You need to be tough and you need to protect your energy with everything you have, all right? Time to affirm yourself, my beauties, and learn to say no or maybe. That's good too in love. Maybe, I like that. On the weekend, your bravery and your sweetness and your understandings really bring rewards. Cancer, Taurus are definitely allies and your magical color is violet, lucky numbers 9 and 36. Ta -da! Libra, the eclipse in your work sector bring you closer to partners, associates, co-workers, Good time also to clean up, organize, delegate, and put budget in order to take care of finances, investment, maybe refinance your house or do something with the car. Make peace also with a friend or a family member from the past. It's a very important now to get back in a peace mode. Love and peace. In career, revise everything before launching and new, new ideas or project, especially dealing with show business, marketing, publicity, promotion, all that stuff. Just revise and recheck everything you, before you do that. In the weekend, you attract a lot of respect and applause from everyone. Your magical color is turquoise, ta-da! And lucky numbers are two and 21. Scorpio, Scorpio, the eclipse in your creative sector sort of bring you wings. You want something new. You attract recognitions and you also have a higher energy. What was a chance meeting could actually end up to be meaningful in, the, in some kind of a more deep relationship. It could be in love, in friendship, or in career. Love is definitely blooming. You want to love and to be loved, and it's happening. If you're traveling, you will feel absolutely appreciated. It's time to let your hair loose and be creative and a little funny. A great time also for charity, political work or group activity, helping other people, or take a vacation. On the weekend, forgive, forget, celebrate the new you and what's coming your way because it will be a fabulous year. Your magical color is fuchsia, like numbers 6 and 18. Sagittarius, the eclipse in your home sector brings you closer to loved ones, family, friends. You may rethink your love life in many ways and it's good and if you did say goodbye to somebody, don't go back, it's over, finito. Anything that is broken in the last month and next month, that's it, not good for you. In career, teamwork is important. You can also finalize a project or sign a very uh, lucrative contract that you did not expect at all or get a new offer. Just go slowly though. Don't decide anything before maybe a week or so. Just let things come to you and then you'll decide towards the middle of April, okay? And financially, Please don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. You remember you are the luckiest son of the zodiac, and this year I promise you, Jupiter definitely will protect you in that dimension. Social activities also bring the best out of you, and you shine everywhere you go. I know you feel a little sensitive, and so many things are happening in your life, but at the end of the day, thank God for friends because they're there for you. On the weekend, just enjoy yourself and in good company, good food good wine, whatever, chin chin to you, just relax and divert your energy. Your magical color red and your lucky numbers are 9 and 45. Capricorn, the eclipse in your communication sector bring new novelty, new ideas, but also a new confidence. 
There's an adventure going on in your mind and you want to do so many things, but don't do it too quickly. Just listen to your intuition. It's time to break the routine, plan a dinner with friends to go out and maybe to do some changes in the house and decoration or getting a fix your car or do something fun to beautify your home. And the focus is also on group activities, taking care of your health and maybe signing some important document about some domestic issues that will help you know your life to be prettier and more peaceful on the weekend it's important to discuss your ideas with loved ones because they want to share with you so just all just share and they will listen to you and it will be a lot of fun your magical color green lucky numbers 4 and 31. aquarius the eclipse in your financial sector bring you luck solutions to some dilemmas come your way easily and you could see this week the eclipse will help you to see your future even better especially in your love department remember if it's hundred percent perfect you keep it if it's not make some changes you feel also better in your health and you also have the ability to convince people you know in many ways there's a sentimentality about you that is very cute so when you talk to people people listen you could also be reconnecting with the past. Memories light the corners of my mind. This is pretty much your song this week. Okay, so just allow yourself to go back in time and at the same time, we will help you to make plans for the future. Do you need also to clarify something with a loved one or a friend? Well, it's time to say what you feel and demand what you think you deserve and you will get it. All will end nicely if you're brave. In career, you're definitely sitting in the driver's seat, but it's still good to be flexible and diplomatic in everything you do and allow other, other people to express themselves. On the weekend, you receive sincere, genuine love. Enjoy it because usually you're the giver. Well, this weekend, you'll be the receiver. Your magical color orange, like number six and 39. ta -da! Here is now your wizard affirmation of this very wild eclipse week. The world is our mirror. Whatever we see and perceive in other people, in circumstances around us, is always the reflection of who we are. We're always projecting. So, if you want to know who our political people, friends are, are government leaders are truly truly just check them out and watch what they say and what they perceive about everything especially about other people that's who they are what they say and what they talk about what they perceive is who they are that's the way it is because we always project i love you i kiss you have fun with the eclipse just go slowly and surely and be positive and everything's gonna be Fabulous. Bye. We love you.